Hi friends, so we are going to see these characters in this Shatavahana Empire. Shatavahana Empire low characters and their period. What period they had been stored? And I am Shal Niguda Chudam. Okay, Shatavahana. Otherwise they were also called Shalivahana. Or they are called Shatakarnis. Andhra Brityas, different names. They are dead to these people that you know well. So then, political history, if you see, 30 rulers they are there like that it was said. So there is uh, Sri Mukha Shatavahana, he was the first ruler, you know, Val. So this political history, if you see, so Matsya Purana said that, okay, Matsya Purana said that there are 30 rulers in this dynasty, already we know. Okay, Matsya Purana, according to Matsya Purana, there are 30 rulers in this dynasty. In the end of the day, there are 30 rulers in the dynasty. Nearly 450 years they administered. According to some other sources, they administered for 456 years like that. It was said. Okay. So, there is especially Simukha, he was the founder of the dynasty. The founder according to epigraphs or the coinage. So, there is Katha Sarit Sagar of Sumadeva Suri. It is said that Simukha Shatavana he was the first ruler like that, it was said. Okay. So, Mari, so he was the first ruler in Japan. Mari will add duration in tea. So, duration of this rule, Kvantamandhimu Vayu Purana said that 300 years and he pair konet laga thilisthundi. So, Bhagavata Purana 456 years and he japthundi. So, there is Matsya Purana said that 30 rulers 450 years. So, there is, so Gotti Venkatrao Marichos net like that. This is accepted period of this one. 271 BC only they came to power. So, there is Shatavahanas there the contemporaries of Mauryas. So, there is Shatavahanas there the Contemporaries of Mauryas, like that it was said. So, contemporaries. They are the contemporaries. They are the contemporaries. So, and who worked under Mauryas, like that it was said. They worked under whom? They worked under this Mauryas, like that it was said. Contemporaries, Mauryas. So, that's why they are also called Andhra Brutyas. So, this period is accepted. 271 period that is accepted. So, Maryam and Ramarao's period is not accepted. Or at the same time, BSL and Mantra, he said that this period. 235. Inscription said that according to inscriptions. Inscription said that 235 BC to BC to 225 AD. Like that it was said. But many accepted which period in the sense this was accepted. 271 BC only they came to power and continued till. Okay. And they continued till. So, 174 AD. That is the period of this Shatavahanas like that. It was said. Got idea? So, like that, that is one of, one of the important points you have to remember. Who was the first ruler in this dynasty? Sri Mukha Shatavahana. He was the first ruler in this dynasty that you have to as see, Sri Mukha Shatavahana. <coughs> okay. Pratishtana Pura became the capital of this Sri Mukha Shatavahana. Period is uh, not important. From which period to which period he administered, not necessary because inscriptions said some period and Purana said some other period. That's why period is not necessary. So, this Sri Mukha was called. So, he was also called. He was the contemporary of Ashoka like that. It was said, Sri Mukha Shatavahana. This Sri Mukha Shatavahana was called Sri Mukha, Sri Mukha, Sindhuka, Sindhuka, Sipruka, Sipruka, okay, Chimuka, Chimuka, okay, Chimuka, Sri Mukha, Sri Mukha, like that. So, all these uh, points that are there. Simukha, Sindhuka, Sipruka, Chimuka, Sri Mukha, like that. Different names are there. He was the first ruler in this dynasty. He was the first one who started this empire. Sri Mukha Shatavahana. We are calling him <coughs> Sri Mukha Shatavahana. So the coins of this one only found at Karimnagar district, Kotiringala, and Madhak district, Pandapur, Dhulikatta. On the coins, his name was called Rana Gobadra, Rana Goswami, like that. Names also appear like that. It was said. Okay. So, this Simuka he was the contemporary of Ashoka. So, contemporary of Ashoka. Who was Ashoka? He was the greatest ruler in Mauryas. So, Ashoka was the greatest ruler in Mauryas. So, this Srimuka Shatavahana 
It was the contemporary of Ashoka. That you have to remember. Okay. So this Ashoka was a contemporary like that. It was said. In the period of this Ashoka only, he came to power like that. Ashoka's period, Ashoka came to power in the year 273. 273. But their period started in the year 271. 271 BC. Right? So like that, 273 to 232 Ashoka continued BC. Okay, that's why they are the contemporaries of so this man. And Sri Mukeshatavana, he said that he is the founder of this dynasty and empire. This empire that was started by this one only like that, it was all said. You got idea? Sri Mukeshatavana. So Sri Mukeshatavana is the founder of this Shatavahana empire like that, it was all said. Shatavahana dynasty. Okay. <coughs> Like that. So all these uh, important things uh, became independence once Maurya's fallout so of uh, so this favor. So his name appears on the coins of so Sri Chimuka Shata like that. So these are the names uh, I told you. Simuka, Simuka, different names. Uh, they appeared like that it was said. So the coins of this one found at so where, which place the coins were found? Kotilingala, Kwandapur, Dhulikatta, all these places only. Okay. So they have coins of this. Uh, so Sri Mukashatavahana, they were found like that, it was said. So then, <coughs> so there is uh, Sri Mukashatavahana. So there is, uh, so there is Sri Mukha or Simukha. Shatavahana was his father's name like that, it was said. Okay. So Zephyr Sam Satyaputras, Ashoka said what in the sense? Sri Mukha, it is also said in Puranas that. Sri Mukha, that is the name of his father also like that. Sri Mukha Shatavahana's father's name also. Sri Mukha like that it was said. But it is said that different names they are there to this one. Different names they are there to this one like that it was said. Okay. So his epigraphs of Ashoka, Satya Putras like that. It was said like that it was said. Okay. So this especially Ranagobhadra, Ranagoswami. You see, already we discussed this one. On the coins... So the Sri Mukha Shatavahana, so the coins which were given by Sri Mukha, on them it was, okay, depicted, what, which, which name was given or depicted on the coins. Rana Gobhadra, Rana Goswami, like that, they appeared, that is also one of the important points, so you have to remember. Where the coins of the Sri Mukha Shatavahana, they were found. So the coins were found in Karimnagar district, Kotilingala, so and at the same time. So, Kotilingala, that you have to remember. They are at Kotilingala and Medak district, Kondapur. Kotilingala, Kondapur and even Dhulikatta. So, like that they were found. So, this in the beginning what happened in the sense, the Sri Mukha Shatavahana followed. The Sri Mukha Shatavahana followed Jainism. You know Jainism. Jainism that emerged in 6th century BC. So, the Sri Mukha, he followed Jainism like that it was said. In the beginning, he was a follower of Jainism, but later what happened in the sense, so Vedic religion he followed, later. So, but later, later he followed, later he followed, he followed Vedic religion. This Vedic religion he followed like that, it was said. Got idea? Mainly the coins of this one found at different places, that is important one. He was a contemporary of this, especially. So, there's Ashoka, that is also one of the points. Ashoka, he was the greatest ruler in Mauryas, we have to remember. Have you got an idea? So, like that, Sri Mukha Shatavahana. This Sri Mukha Shatavahana, he maintained, he maintained good relations. So, with uh, especially, so this Maharashtra rulers, okay. So, Maharashtra rulers like that, it was said. So, he maintained good relations with this, uh, okay. Maharashtra rulers like that, it was said, okay. The Sri Mukha maintained good relations with, good relations with, good relations with the rulers of Maharashtra like that, it was said. And matrimonial alliances were also established with them because his son's name Shatakarni won, okay, Shatakarni won. Okay, Shatakarni one, he married Maharashtra ruler, Trana Kairos, Trana Kairos daughter, Naganika. Like that, he maintained good relations with Maharashtra rulers, so like that, 
that was also one of the opinions you have to remember. Anyhow, Srimukha Shatavahana, he was the first ruler in this dynasty. In the beginning, he followed Jainism. Later, he followed Vedic religion. He was the founder of this empire like that it was said. Pratishtanapura that became the first capital. But the coins found a way in the sense in Telangana. That's why only Parabrahma Shastri said that. Parabrahma Shastri. <coughs> Parabrahma Shastri said what in the sense they belong to Telangana. Telangana that is the original place of this Shatavahanas like that. Who said? Said by Parabrahma Shastri. Have you got idea? So like that, first ruler in this dynasty was Sri Mukha Shatavahana. He was also called Simukha, Sindhuka, Sipruka, Chimukha, Sri Mukha. Like that, different names, they are there. It is also said that Sri Mukha was the father of this Chimukha Shatavahana. That also opinion that was there. Anyhow, he was the first ruler. Okay. So on the coins, what names depicted? What names were given? So this Rana Gobhadra. That is important. Rana Gobhadra. Rana Goswami. Rana Goswami. Rana Gobhadra, Rana Goswami. They were the names given on the uh, coins like that it was said. Got idea? So like this, so all these important points you have to remember in this Sri Mukha Shatavahana. Who was the first ruler who followed Jainism? That is Sri Mukha Shatavahana. Sri Mukha. He was the contemporary of. He was the contemporary of Ashoka. Who was Ashoka? Ashoka was the greatest ruler. The contemporary of Ashoka. Ashoka. Contemporary of Ashoka, like that it was said. Ashoka's period, that's in the year 273 BC and continued till 232 BC. Okay. He was the greatest ruler in so Mauryas. He was the greatest ruler in Mauryas. That you have to remember. Mauryas. Okay. Mauryan Empire that was started by Chandragupta Maurya. After him, Bindusar. After him only, Ashoka the Great like that we are calling. Got idea? So like that, so these points you have to remember. Got idea? So next one if you see. Okay. So this Krishna Shatavahana we can say. Krishna Shatavahana. Otherwise it was also called Kanha Shatavahana. Krishna otherwise we are calling Kanha Shatavahana. Okay. So it was also called, how in the sense it was called Kanha. <coughs> he only what happened in the sense. So Nasik inscription. Nasik inscription that was given by this one. Nasik inscription, this Nasik inscription that was given by this one. Nasik inscription that was also given by Gautami Balasri. Gautami Balasri also gave this Nasik inscription. That also one of the points we have to remember. Gautami Balasri, she was mother of Gautami Pitra Shatakarni. Gautami Pitra Shatakarni, he was the greatest ruler among all the rulers of Shatavahanas, right? So like that, Nasik inscription that was so given by this one. It is said that Dharma Mahamatras, so were appointed or Buddhist monks, so for the welfare of offices. So here it was Dharma Mahamatras were appointed like that, it was said. So he because, so during this time, Nasik, Baja, Bhaidsa, Kanheri, Karle, all these were developed in the period of this one. Mainly Nasik and Kanheri. Kanheri, Nasik, they were developed. Kanheri, Nasik, so they were developed. Buddhist cave temples. One is at Nasik, we can say. And Kanheri, they were developed in the period of this one. Buddhist cave temples like that, we can say. In Nasik, his official Mahamatya, built a Buddhist cave temple like that, it was said. So, Sri Mukha Shatavahana's brother was this Krishna Shatavahana. He was the brother of Krishna Shatavahana. So, Krishna Shatavahana, he was the brother of Sri Mukha Shatavahana like that, it was said. He was brother of Sri Mukha or Simukha like that, it was. So, Bhagavat religion that entered Deccan region during his period. Bhagavatism. Okay, Bhagavata religion. This was introduced by Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna introduced this Bhagavatism. Bhagavata religion, we can say. So, Bhagavata religion entered in the period of this one only. Bhagavata religion, what happened? Entered 
in the period of this one only. It was introduced by whom? Lord Krishna like that. It was said. Okay. Bhagavatism. So then, like that, so he continued uh, the things were like that. He believed in Buddhism. That's why only Buddhists gave temples. So Viharas or Ghatikas uh, at the same time Chaityas, all these came into force in the period of this film. Chaityas and Viharas were also established as Nasik and Kanheri. He established this uh, Krishna Shatavahana established Chaityas and Viharas. Chaityas and Viharas were also Viharas were also established by this film. We are calling Chaityas and Viharas. Chaitya is a worshipping place or prayer hall, you know well. Chaitya is a prayer hall. Vihara, that is a resting place. Where Buddhist monks take rest, that was called Vihara. Chaitya is a prayer hall. Like that, so they were also started at Nausicaa and Kanheri. By this one, like that, it was said. He gave importance to Buddhism. Okay. Krishna Shatavahana. He was also called how? He was also called Kanha Shatavahana. He was also the contemporary of Ashoka. This Krishna Shatavahana also contemporary of Ashoka. Okay. He was also a contemporary of. He was also contemporary of. Contemporary of Ashoka, like that it was said. Krishna Shatavahana. Brother of Srimukha Shatavahana. Right? So, like that, he continued for some time. That much importance was not there, but we have to remember Bhagavatism that entered in the period of this one only, entered in Deccan region during the period of this second ruler, Krishna Shatavahana, which is this Bhagavatism, Bhagavatism that is introduced by Lord Krishna, Bhagavatism, we can say, right? So, like that, so in the period of Krishna or so this one, Do you remember the inscription, Nasik. Nasik also given by Gautami Balasri. In the period of grandson's period only, she gave that. Okay. So, like this, he was the second ruler. In this dynasty, like that, it was said. Then after, okay, the Shatakarni one came to power. He was one of the important rulers. So, among first rulers, he was the greatest ruler like that, it was said. Among first rulers, he was the greatest ruler like that, it was said. Okay. So, Shatavahana independent empire completely. Shatavahana empire originally that was started in the period of this one like that. Even though this Srimukha is considered the first one, but empire that advanced in the period of Shatakarani one like that, it was said. It is said that he was the son of Srimukha Shatavahana. Shatakarani one, he was the son of. He was the son of Srimukha Shatavahana. What idea? So, like that, so he was the first one. Third ruler in this dynasty, third ruler in this dynasty. So, the Shatakarni one was the third ruler in this dynasty. Okay. So, then Ujjaini symbol coins were given by this one. Which symbol coins are issued by this one in the sense Ujjaini symbol coins were given by so this one. So, especially so over Pushyamitra Sunga. Who is this Pushyamitra Sunga? Belongs to Sunga dynasty. Pushyamitra Sunga belongs to. Pushyamitra Sunga belongs to Pushyamitra Sunga belongs to Sunga dynasty Sunga dynasty like that it was said he went against Sungas Pushyamitra Sunga was defeated and Ujjaini symbol because why Pushyamitra Sunga in the sense this Pushyamitra Sunga's capital Vidisha Madhya Pradesh this Pushyamitra Sunga's capital so his capital was his capital was Vidisha. This Vidisha that is located in Madhya Pradesh. In Madhya Pradesh only Ujjaini that is located. That's why Ujjaini symbol coins were given by this Shatakarni one. Okay, Madhya Pradesh Ujjaini symbol coins. So they were given by this one. That is also one of the important points. So there is a Hatigumpha and Guntupalli inscriptions. Karavela also said about so this one. But it is said that who got victory it is not known. So, in uh, Hathikumpha inscription, it is said that Karavela got victory. Shatakarni one was defeated like that. But uh, Nanagat inscription said about, so this victories of Shatakarni one. Nanagat inscription said about the victories of Nanagat. Nanagat inscription 
said about all the victories of Gautami Putra Shataka. Said about, said about him. Okay, Nanagat. So Nanagat inscription that was given by his wife Naganika, who was the wife of Shatakarni one. Shatakarni one's wife was Naganika. Okay, Maharashtra ruler Trana Kairo's daughter was Naganika. Naganika was wife of. Naganika was wife of Shatakarni one. Shatakarni one like that it was. So this Naganika was wife of Shatakarni one. She was the daughter of Maharashtra ruler Trana Kairo. Daughter of she was daughter of Trana Kairo. Daughter of Trana Kairo. Trana Kairo. She was daughter of Trana Kairo, like that it was said. Maharashtra ruler was Trana Kairo. And in that only what happened, regarding husband, she said about many things. He was called Mahan, Virudu, Aprathihata Chakra. All these names came through this inscription only. Naganika's inscription, Nanagat inscription. From this inscription only. Who gave this uh, inscription? Naganika gave. Who was Naganika? Wife of Shatakarni Ban. Wife of Shatakarni one is Naganika. Naganika gave Nana Ghat inscription. In that only she said about all the victories of husband. In that only she said that he was called Aprathihata Chakra. He was called Mahan, Malakarni. Many names are there like that. It was said by this Naganika, right? So like that, what titles there are there? Many titles there are there to this Shatakarni one. That you can remember. So, Dakshina Patapati. Okay. So, there is the Dakshina Patapati means complete South India came under the control of this and hence he was called Dakshina Patapati. He was very courageous. Ekavira. So, Shurudu. Aprathiyata Chakra. So, there is at the same time. So, according to Puranas, he was called Mahan. So, and he was also called Mallakarni. So, is this Mallakarna. Matsya Purana said that he was called Mallakarni. Mallakarni, Mahan. Okay, so like that, Aprathihata Chakra. So it was very courageous. So like that, many titles there are there to this, uh, especially. Okay, so all these important points you have to remember related with this one. He married Naganika. Naganika's inscription also said that he was called Mahan. And Mallakarni, Mallakarni, this one. Aprathihata Chakra, Virudu, Shurudu. Okay, so like the different names, uh, titles they appeared for this Shatakarni 1. Shatakarni 1's period went well. Shatakarni 1 only performed many agnas. He performed, he performed, he performed many agnas. Many agnas were performed by this one. So many agnas were performed by this one. Ashwamedha. Two times Ashwamedha Yagam that was conducted like that it was said. Ashwamedha. Rajasuya, Vajapeya, Agneya, Angirasamaya, Agnistoma, like that. Number of Agnas are performed by the Shatakarni one. Okay. Suppose if they want to perform, want to continue, conduct Ashwamedha Yagam, a big army should also be there. Like that, he established a big army and conducted Ashwamedha Yagam. A horse is left free wherever the horse goes. It is only for three days. Okay, wherever the horse goes, they will occupy the region. Suppose if they get victory, they will occupy this region. Like that, so on the, especially what happened, so this on the surface of this horse, so copper plate was, okay, tied, copper plate. On that, who was the king who was performing this? Ashwamedha Yagam, that was all mentioned. Ashwamedha Yagam, who is performing? Ashwamedha Yaga, from where it was started. So, and so all the things they were written on copper plate and the horse will be left free. And soldiers will follow that one. The soldiers, they will continue. Soldiers will so follow that one. So, who will follow? Soldiers, they will follow. So, like that, many agnas were performed. What agnas are performed? This one. Ashwamedha. Ashwamedha. Rajasuya. Rajasuya, Vajapeya, Vajapeya that is chariot race. 
to get uh, respect from the people, he used to perform Rajasuya. Ashwadesh Vajapeya. Vajapeya that will continue for 17 days. Vajapeya that will continue for 17 days. It is just like chariot race. Like that, Shatakarni once period, what happened went well. And he donated villages at the same time, villages to Brahmin community people. 13 villages were given to Brahmin community people. Right? And cattle were also donated to Brahmins and agriculturists. Brahmins and agriculturists. Horses were also given to agriculturists or Brahmin community people. Like that, so donated many things to poor and the needy and to the agriculturists like that. It was all said. Shatakarani, once period. The Shatakarani one performed many yagnas. Many yagnas. Then he only started decentralization of administration. So among first rulers, he was the greatest ruler like that, it was said. Among first rulers, he was the greatest ruler. Many yagnas have performed that. That is one of the points we have to. Then, it is said that, so there is especially what happened. Karavela of Kalinga attacked this one. Karavela of Kalinga attacked this one. And he was defeated like that, it was said. Karavela belongs to which dynasty? Karavela belongs to Chedi dynasty, we can say. Otherwise belongs to Maha Megavahana dynasty. This Karavela attacked this one. And Karavela got victory. And Shatakarni one was defeated like that. It was said in Hathikumpha inscription. Karavela. This Karavela attacked. Attacked Shatakarni one like that it was said. Shatakarni one. And Shatakarni 1 was defeated. Karavela got victory like that. In which inscription it was said? So Karavela gave Hatigumpha inscription. In Hatigumpha inscription. Hatigumpha inscription that is one. Guntupalli inscription that is one. These two are given by this Karavela. Which dynasty did this Karavela belong? He belongs to Chedi dynasty or Mahamegavahana dynasty. But believed in Jainism. Karavela, even though belonged to Chedi dynasty, Maha Megavahana believed in Jainism. Karavela believed in okay, Jainism. This Karavela believed in Jainism. In some other sources, it is said that exactly we can't say who got victory. Whether Shatakarni one got victory, we can't say. Or this Karavela got victory, that also exactly we can't say like that. It was said. But Hathikumpa inscription said that Karavela got victory. And this one was defeated. Shatakarni one was defeated. And Pitunda Nagaram, Pitunda Nagaram that was completely destroyed by this Karavela like that. It was all said in this. So like that anyhow what happened. So in the period of this one only, these attacks also started like that we can say. So this Kalinga ruler Karavela attack, that is one incident. So then Pushyamitra Sunga was defeated in the hands of this Shatakarni one. Shunga dynasty ruler Pushyamitra Sunga, like that. These two important attacks you have to remember, right? So like that, so all these things went well in the period of this one. Mainly performing Agnas. Number of Agnas were performed by this Shatakarni one. So Agnas we are calling. Ashwamedha, Rajasuya, Vajapeya, Agneya, Angirasamaya, Agnistoma, like that number of decentralization of administration that was also so happened. Then with Jaini symbol coins giving that is also one of the important points you have to remember like this. So Shatakarni once period what happened? Shatakarni once period went well. What titles are there in the sense you have to remember all these titles. Shurudu, Virudu, okay. And Yekavira, Apratihata Chakra, Mahan, Mallakarni, Dakshinapathapati, so many titles they are there. In South India, complete authority that was established by this one, that's why it was called Dakshina Patapati. It was called, how in the sense? It was called Dakshina Patapati, right? So like that, Shatakarni once period, what happened? Shatakarni once period went well, mainly. So you have to remember, Shatakarni one, he brought name and fame to this empire, first one. First one who? So there is uh, improved or developed this uh, region in the sense Shatakarni one only. Because performed many agnas at the same time. So donations were also given. 
villages are agraharam was given to brahmin community people all these things happened in the period of this man after him who came to power they are inefficient rulers only purnotsanga skandastambhi lambodara okay purnotsanga skandastambhi so these two are inefficient rulers then shatakarni to to some extent important after shatakarni to who came they are all inefficient rulers okay like this so next ruler so this purnotsanga otherwise we are calling so vedasri shatakarni okay vedasri like that it was said so the shatakarni one and naganika's son was this one so greek invasions they took place not only greek invasions second time karavela attacked this one second time karavela attacked and suppressed this man so he accepted the authority so purnotsanga we can say otherwise he was also called vedasri vedasri like that it was said purnotsanga so then after this purnotsanga i was weak ruler karavela attacked second time this karavela kalinga ruler karavela was kalinga ruler he attacked second time and destructions were took place batiprolu region that was also destroyed like that it was said in you know, whose period in the sense in the period of this one only karavela right second time also karavela attacked and because this uh, purnotsunga especially he had no experience that's why automatically accepted the authority of karavela after that skandastambhi came to power one of the the weak rulers came to power he was brother of this purnotsunga skandastambhi this skandastambhi he was brother of brother of purnotsunga came to power he was inefficient purnot sangha brother of purnot sangha so he came to power fifth ruler in this dynasty like that it was uh, said he is a weak ruler that much uh, importance was not there to this skandastambhi have you got idea up to this we have seen shatakarni one prior to that srimukha shatavahana then krishna shatavahana shatakarni one then purnot sangha skandastambhi right so next shatakarni two is important we can continue thank you